special products square of a binomial. Okay, let's have here an example. The quantity of a plus b raised to the power of 2. This is a binomial because this quantity is composed of two terms. We have here term a, the first term, and we have b, the second term. Again, this is a binomial because it has two terms. We can also have here a minus b raised to the power of 2. Again, this is the first term and this is the second term. Now, the terms here, they are called variables. So we may use any letters or any variables to represent our equation. If we want, let's say, instead of a, we will put x and instead of b, we will put 5. This will now be x plus 5 raised to the power of 2. And this is x minus 5 raised to the power of 2. And what if a is 2x and instead of b, we will have 10? This will be written as 2x plus 10 raised to the power of 2. And 2x minus 10 raised to the power of 2. We can also have a instead of a, that will be 6w, and instead of b, we will have here 5d squared y. This can be written as 6w plus 5d squared y raised to the power of 2, and 6w minus 5d squared y raised to the power of 2. But what if instead of a, we will have here 4 over 5 xy, and instead of b, we will have positive 8. Again, this can be written as 4 over 5 xy plus 8 raised to the power of 2, and 4 over 5 xy minus 8 raised to the power of 2. We will now solve those problems. First, we have here a, a plus b raised to the power of 2. And we also have here a minus b raised to the power of 2. To solve this, take note, if this is a square of a binomial, the first step would be to square the first term. This is our first term. So to square this, this will be a squared. And the second step will be to multiply the first term and the second term. So a times b. And since this is addition, we will put here the plus sign. So again, the product of the first and the second term. And then you are going to repeat this twice. So you will copy plus a b. And then the square of the second term it disregardless of the sign, if this is the square, it would always be plus. So this will be plus b squared. And then expanding, we have we can add a b plus a b. We will have here a squared plus a b plus a b. That is two a b plus b squared. This is our answer for the quantity of a plus b squared. Let us now solve the quantity of a minus b squared. Again, the square of the first term, this will be a squared. And multiply the first and the second term. And then, since this is the minus sign, we will also put here minus sign. And the product of the first and the second term, a b. Repeat this twice, so just copy minus a b. And then the square of the second term. Again. Regardless of the sign, this will always be plus because it is squared. So plus b squared. And then we have a squared minus a b minus a b. This will be minus 2ab plus b squared. And this is our answer for the quantity a minus b raised to the power of 2. Let's have another example. We have the quantity of 6w plus 5d squared y raised to the power of 2. This is our first term 
and this is our second term. So first, get the square of our first term. We have here the quantity of 6w raised to the power of 2. And then since this is addition, just copy the sign plus and multiply the first and the second term. We will have here 6w multiplied by 5d squared y. And then just repeat this one, plus 6w multiplied by 5d squared y. And get the square of the second term. Okay, So this would always be plus since it is a square. Our second term is 5d squared y raised to the power of 2. 6w raised to the power of 2, this is 36w squared. And then we have here plus 6 times 5, that is 30. And we have d squared wy. We arrange the letters in alphabetical manner. So plus, okay, just copy that, 30 d squared wy plus the square of 5d squared. So 5 raised to the power of 2 is 25. d squared raised to the power of 2, that is d raised to 4. y raised to the power of 2, that is y squared. And we have here 36 w squared. We can add this. So 30 plus 30, that will be plus 60 and d squared y. 60 d squared w y plus 25 d raised to the fourth y squared. So this is the answer to the quantity 6w plus 5d squared y raised to the power of 2. And let's have an our next problem we have here is 6w minus 5d squared y raised to the power of 2. For our solution, we first we will get the square of our first term, 6w raised to the power of 2. And then multiply 6w times negative 5d squared y. So positive multiplied by negative, this will be negative. So 6w multiply this by the second term, 5d squared y. And then just copy this one, so minus 6w multiplied by 5d squared y. And then the square, or raise the second term to the power of 2. So negative times negative, this will always be plus, okay, so 5d squared y raised to the power of 2. 6w raised to the power of 2, this will give us positive 36w squared minus 6 multiplied by 5, that is 30. And rearranging alphabetically, we will have here d squared wy minus, okay, just copy this one, 30d squared wy plus... 25, or rather 5 raised to the power of 2, this will give us 25. d squared raised to the power of 2, that will give us d raised to the 4th. And y raised to the power of 2, this will give us y squared. And we have 36w squared, negative 30d squared wy minus 30d squared wy. We can combine them. This will give us negative 60 d squared wy plus 25d raised to the fourth y squared. Therefore, 36w squared minus 60d squared wy plus 25d raised to the fourth y squared is our final answer. Our next problem, we have the quantity of 2x plus 10 raised to the power of 2. And we will have here 2x minus 10 raised to the power of 2. So the quantity of 2x plus 10 raised to the power of 2, our first step would be to get the square of the first term. So the square of the first term would be 2x raised to the power of 2. 
and then next copy the sign this is plus so we will put here plus multiply the first and the second term we have here 2x times 10 and repeat this so we have plus 2x times 10 and then the square of the second term so this would always be plus 10 raised to the power of 2 the square of 2x that would be equal to 4 x squared and then 2x times 10 this will be plus 20x plus 20x and the square of 10 is positive 100 and we have here 4x squared 20x plus 20x that will be plus 40x plus 100 4x squared plus 40x plus 100 is our answer to the quantity of 2x plus 10 raised to the power of 2 and we have here 2x minus 10 raised to the power of 2 again square the first term 2x raised to the power of 2 and copy the sign negative just put here negative multiply the first and the second term 2x times 10 and repeat this minus 2x times 10 and get the square of 10 so this will always be plus 10 raised to the power of 2 and we will have here 2x raised to the power of 2 that is 4 x squared minus 2x times 10 that will be 20x minus 20x plus 10 raised to the power of 2 is 100 and we will have here 4 x squared negative 20x minus 20x that will be negative 40x plus 100 and this is our answer to the quantity of 2x minus 10 raised to the power of 2